I, why do I have Premiere open, bro? What the fuck am I doing, bro? I'm trying to fucking record an anime video and I have Premiere open. I have no clue what I'm doing, bro. And it's not even that late, which is crazy, bro. It's only two in the morning, which is early as shit for me. Bro, I ain't gonna hold y'all this whole summer, bro. I've been staying up till like eight in the morning and not waking up till like the time y'all niggas would be eating dinner. All right, so I know how last video, I was absolutely shitting on a uh, isekai earlier. So that was a bad example of isekai because you know, currently the state of isekai, everyone's just shitting on it. Rightfully so, there's a lot of trash, but in the trash, there are some gems. Now, I'm not gonna try to gas this shit up, but I'm gassing the fuck out of this show. I'm saying this is top Top five isekai shows all time. We start off with my boy. Yeah, I know he do okay look like, you know, everyone's tired of the plain black haired motherfucker. Emo, black hair, depressed, loser, nigga. I know we tired of him. Oh my God. I be forgetting, bro. His dad, that's his dad, by the way. He built like a motherfucker. You can't lie. Like, say whatever you want, but he built. Anyways, this nigga gets sacrificed by his father and that's how he gets isekai. Oh yeah, another warning. Uh, This show is crazy. Watch this solo bro so typically they start off in fucking isekai's op getting magic learning going to guilds now nah, they start this nigga off farming and shit now look at this monster you would think what the fuck is this this cgi is horrible it is horrible and then most people would have dropped a show talking about some what the fuck is that that's nasty as shit so then they hit y'all with this shit you see how this animation look this shit looking crispy this emotional ass uh, man this is episode one by the way this whole show is these niggas flexing they budget they're saying yeah we can do this cheap ass five dollar cgi and then we can hit y'all with some real shit in the same episode basically what's up with with that scene basically let me explain it basically they live in a world without god religion culture feelings nothing they just have an emperor emperor aka they don't actually have an emperor i'm gonna get to that later but they have this emperor who just pretty much made everybody lose feelings and then everyone who has feelings gets kicked out of the kingdom because he wants to make this like perfect society where humans can just be perfect with no problems and conflict and just all live perfect. But then at the same time, they get no feelings, no freedom and shit. Like it goes from this a nice emotional, edgy, fucking nice bonding love scene. Three minutes later, this bitch sister just got fucking hung in the block because they caught her or some shit. I don't even remember. Now they just getting murked off and killed. Y'all know, you know series are going to get real if they kill, just killing off beloved characters like this at the first episode. You know shit going to get deadly. MC walked in. Loki is giving these niggas a hand. So you would think, oh shit, the MC's here. Now everyone can be saved. So you know, he's just finna scrap with him. And usually in Isekai's, they be like, but no, he just murks this nigga off. He don't get no speech. No no power up, no nothing. He murks him off and then murks his bitch off too. Then boom, out of nowhere, this god pulls up, saves these niggas and just fucking revives them all. I'll just explain as quick as possible. Uh, She's like a god of him or from his world who came to save him or some shit like that. I don't even remember. Now, basically the plot of this show is MC, he's weak as shit on his own, but the god gets stronger with the more believers he has. So now he in a world where religion does not exist now he's trying to build her up to make her god he's trying to he's pretty much making religion from the start also you remember that one knight who just murked bro off at the start they pretty much just gender swapped the motherfucker turned her to a female and i ain't gonna lie i don't care if it was a dude in the past i'm still hitting anyways oh my god look at this scene tell me tell me this shit ain't look like it came straight out of mappa and you saying y'all niggas wanna hate on this animation like get off me bro Anyways, this strong bitch come walking through, pretty much dogging the fuck out of all these niggas because she's stronger than all of them. Then out of nowhere, this nigga pulls up and what? I don't know if I covered him earlier, but basically, look at him. He looks deceiving as fuck. Basically, he's working with the Empire, but he betrayed them. But he also betrayed the MC too, because it's some it's some complicated shit. I'll explain it in the next scene. Also, he's a girl, by the way, so it's not wrong for me to say I would smash. Basically, the Emperor who's been controlling everybody's been dead for like thousands of years. Like he's been dead. It's just all been a simulation and they were actually being run by computers. So basically, before, while the Emperor Empire shit was here, 
here, there was a group of strong niggas who were basically like the gods of this world, but not really. They were more like generals. But now that the emperor's gone and they exposed him for being fake and all that shit, now they are going to all branch off and be actually tried to become gods. See, this anime be dark as shit, then it be funny as shit, then it be wholesome as shit, then it be have some good like story into it. Like, how can you say this is trash? Then we have this little arc with so much fan service that I'm not going to even show you. Like, I'm just going to summarize this as much as quick as possible. The One of the gods who are trying to get popular is thriving off of love and shit. They have this fucking power to control love. All these guys have like a certain power. So she's the love goddess. Obviously, they woke in that bitch, whop him up. I don't know if I've been saying this, but our MC is like a fucking genius. Basically, this love. Oh, my God. What the fuck? She's just in a fucking straight bikini, bro. Oh, my God. I'm finna spend hours fucking censoring this show. Fucking hell. Anyways, the love goddess is pretty much the reason why everyone in the empire didn't have any feelings because she could control love and shit. So she just removed it from everybody. Obviously, they whack her up, but she's way too fine to just be, you know, she's like, she's bad. Like, look at her. She's fine as shit. Don't even hold it. But she's way too fine to just be held prisoner and put to the burner. So obviously, she gets added to like the cast. And no, the MC don't have no crazy harem. It's not like one of those shows. He's just cool with a lot of bitches. Also, he's on some freak shit too. I got to censor the fuck out of this. Like, what the fuck is that? I'm telling you, there's no consistent animation style. Like, they'd be changing an art styles up so much in the show and it's just fire i'm loving it like i know I, yeah i might i might seem like i'm low key on tip right now i low key am i won't i'll admit it but i'm just saying hey it looks good as shit this is one of the best looking isekais i've ever seen despite the cji C, fuck, cgi sometimes once again i don't care if it's a dude bro that nigga fine as shit <laughs> no, that, no that's crazy that's a crazy statement but hey we, now we have the final arc which is low key fucked up now we have another the god you know how people get powerful with worshipers she just has children like worshiping her like she's acting like her parent like their parent but really she's literally just using them to get power from worshipers foot worshipers damn why can i not say that holy shit you know what i'm trying to say also these kids are batshit crazy you see that shit and i got a sense of that too yeah thank you for putting so much fucking fan service then she spawned like this little big serpent monster i ain't gonna lie that cga trash but hey it's whatever i don't care i said cga i mean cgi but holy fuck look at that animation that shit looks amazing anyway she's finna do some crazy shit she said fuck it i don't need you kids anymore and then just kills them both because she's like eh i don't need y'all motherfuckers no more then they whoop the bitch and now they're talking about some no let's spare her bro she mass genocide children i mean the children didn't really die youtube but she tried to y'all just want to let this super villain on the loose anyways that's my, the end of my little summary shit i'm not trying to spoil it too much um i know this anime literally just finished like a few days ago but i'm gonna need season two like next week or i'm right rating your studio i'm gonna be real this is a threat no, i'm playing but yeah i'm not gonna watch i'm not gonna read the manga so don't ever don't even try to think fucking comment in that shit in my comments i'll block you